question is uh, in our search for an alternative fuel is hydrogen the solution discuss question ha so hydrogen as an alternative source of fuel so see obviously i think i if i remember correctly i did mention that uh, one way of decarbonizing the transport sector is to move over to your electric vehicles but the main problem with respect to electric vehicles in india is that we do not have any lithium reserves we do not have the uh, production technology to mass manufacture lithium ion batteries therefore we are heavily dependent if we are going to manufacture batteries we are heavily dependent on lithium reserves which we have to import from elsewhere on top of that even if we import lithium we do not have the capacity to produce lithium ion batteries for which we are dependent on china so your electric mobility your electric vehicles for example we do not have the capacity to do that in india so we will be heavily dependent on uh, importing at least if not the entire vehicle the batteries from elsewhere so as of today all your vehicles most of them may be imported the batteries not the manufacturing itself the batteries may be imported from china so india has now come out with this national hydrogen energy mission where we are saying that we will produce energy from hydrogen meaning we will be able to make use of hydrogen as a source of fuel as an alternative so when the entire world is moving towards lithium ion batteries we will move towards hydrogen so that we will be one of the first countries to develop technology with respect to using hydrogen as a source of fuel correct so this is how you may start now the question is that is it really an alternative and if we have to talk about hydrogen as an alternative as a source of alternative we'll have to talk about its advantages as well as its disadvantages so first let us talk about the advantages of hydrogen now of course you have to write about this national hydrogen mission which is there over here i am hoping that you've already incorporated this uh, national hydrogen energy mission into your answer what we will be discussing is what are the advantages and disadvantages of hydrogen as an alternative fuel in your transportation so okay so if you take hydrogen one of the advantages of hydrogen is that we can actually make use of hydrogen in two formats one is that we can use hydrogen to power an electric vehicle how by making use of your fuel cells by making use of your fuel cells we can use hydrogen to power an electric vehicle itself but here the problem is that it is a very complicated thing okay you will need an hydrogen tank you will need fuel cells in your vehicles then you will need an electric motor it's a bit complicated it is not so practical it can be done but not so practical is what these automobile manufacturers have realized but it is possible for us to run an electric vehicle as well the second is to directly make use of hydrogen in your internal combustion engine so you have your normal engines now you have a normal engine for example your petroleum engine now your internal combustion engine so it is possible for you to still make use of the same engine with certain modifications with certain modification we should be able to do that because hydrogen is also a flammable gas it is a highly flammable gas and hence we can make use of the same hydrogen okay so this is one advantage we can make use of it in two formats and also we can run a vehicle using the same internal combustion engine then what is the other advantage your hydrogen for example the only output or emission when it comes to using hydrogen in your internal combustion engine will be water when you burn hydrogen what will you get you are only going to get water okay so this will help us in achieving our carbon emissions target to reduce our carbon emissions because we are talking about decarbonizing we are talking about our uh, intended nationally determined contributions of reducing uh, the emissions of greenhouse gases also it will reduce our dependence on fossil fuels and hence once again improve our economy in terms of current account deficit it will help us in saving money correct apart from this uh what other advantage can we talk about hydrogen so you are saying that rather than investing money over there we can invest it over here and this will further help in developing this technology okay that is uh, one way of doing that that is from point source for example we are talking about in the transport sector it will be difficult for us to capture that water vapor condense it into water at each and every vehicle and then do it so that is not feasible that is not feasible 
that is only if you are using hydrogen at say for example tomorrow if we make use of hydrogen at thermal plant level which is not feasible for us either so collecting water is not uh, possible but the uh, one more advantage that i can think of is that hydrogen as a source of fuel is abundant in nature it is very abundant in nature therefore we will be able to collect lot amount of hydrogen the only problem is that we have not yet figured out to produce hydrogen in an environment friendly manner for example if you look at this particular energy mission itself your gray hydrogen and the blue hydrogen is not very environment friendly so that is one big problem if we are able to make use of water as a source of energy which we are yet to discover that will be a tremendous boost to this uh a uh, tremendous boost to using hydrogen as a source of energy or as an alternative fuel what are the disadvantages technology has not yet developed uh, with respect to hydrogen it is yet to develop okay now the other problem with uh, hydrogen is that hydrogen is highly flammable it is highly inflammable therefore it is very dangerous transportation uh, filling up of uh, hydrogen gas into your fuel tanks in vehicles is difficult any leakage it can le result in a big problem as it is highly inflammable okay the other big problem with respect to hydrogen is that it suffers from volumetric inefficiency hydrogen is a gas hydrogen is a gas it is not dense so if you have to make use of hydrogen in your internal combustion engine you have to supply your fuel into the engine at certain pressure correct if it is not supplied at that certain pressure combustion is not going to take place in the right manner to produce the amount of energy that we require to run the vehicle therefore we are not able to supply hydrogen at that right pressure for the supplying itself we need tremendous amount of energy therefore it suffers from volumetric inefficiency plus since it is gas since it is gas it is difficult for transportation so transportation we'll have to liquefy hydrogen so we'll have to cool it so liquefaction of hydrogen that is an extra process in your vehicles to store hydrogen in the gas format uh, sorry gas form you need larger fuel tanks okay this is once again going to occupy your space in vehicles because of the larger fuel tanks okay uh, another disadvantage is with respect to the production process you can talk about gray hydrogen and blue hydrogen uh, production of hydrogen itself is not very environment friendly as of today we are yet to develop uh, technologies or techniques to develop pro uh, produce hydrogen in an environment friendly manner we might talk about electrolysis not electro sorry electrolysis right a splitting of uh, uh, water into hydrogen and oxygen that again it consumes a lot of energy electricity okay any other point fine you have understood but whatever it is conclude by saying that since we have come out with this national hydrogen energy mission it gives us an alternative it gives us an alternative from electric mobility your lithium ion batteries and your fossil fuels this is the third alternative which we have in india and we are one of the front runners in developing this technology to run vehicles on uh, hydrogen so maybe in the future we will be having vehicles which are more efficient which are more efficient okay again cryogenic engines uh, you know it will be very expensive we are using it in uh, <laughs> our rockets so for your normal day it is going to be very difficult how do you maintain the low temperature ha ah, it will be very difficult how do you maintain the low temperature oh see for your uh, uh, what do you say space launch vehicles right they are they are not worried about efficiency efficiency is not the first aspect efficiency is not their first concern but when it comes to your uh, passenger vehicles efficiency is very important fuel efficiency is very important that is the main target right uh, over there they need more energy they need more propulsion that is their main target not fuel efficiency so hence it will be difficult another disadvantage for hydrogen is that we don't have the infrastructure we'll have to set up hydrogen fuel pumps across the country as well so that is one more thing where investment is required and uh, fuel pumping at that right pressure might take more time as well so that is another disadvantage that you can also add is clear okay i'll see you tomorrow thank you we'll we'll continue with nuclear energy tomorrow